Let's solve for the unknown angles. We have a nice uh, five-sided shape here, which is a pentagon and a triangle on the side. And we know that uh, this is a perfect pentagon because all of these markings indicate that they're the same length. Now we have no, no actual given angle, so we have to figure some things out here. Let's solve for uh, this missing angle. We'll call this uh, theta. So there's a theta here, there's a theta here, theta here. These angles are all the same because we're talking about a perfect pentagon. Now, what do we know about pentagons? One, two, three, four, five. Pentagons can also be uh, broken into three triangles. One, two, three. So if I'm thinking about all the angles here, five theta, five different thetas, it's equivalent to all the angles of these three triangles added up. All I did is I picked one corner and I extended it out to the other corners to create a bunch of triangles. So we know that each triangle has 180 degrees. So I say that uh, the total angle is going to be 3 times 180 degrees, which is equals to 540. So the total angles inside this pentagon is 540. So another way of writing that is 5 theta. So 5 theta is equals to 540 degrees. So we divide both sides by 5 to come up with 108. So theta is 108 degrees. Now how do we solve these variables? We're getting closer. Another thing I notice is that we have a nice isosceles triangle here. When these two sides are equal, we know that the two angles are equal. So this is W as well as this is W. Three angles in a triangle must add up to 180. So what we have here is theta plus 2W is equal to 180. Now we know what theta is. Theta is 108. So I can just subtract both sides. So 2w is equals to 72. So w is equals to 72 divided by 2, which is 36 degrees. So we solve for w. w is 36 degrees. This is 36, and this is 36. Now we can solve for x because we know what the theta angle is. This whole angle theta is, is 108. 108 minus 36 is your x value. So x is equals to theta, which is 108, minus your w, which is 36. So x is equals to 108 minus 36, which is 72. So x is 72. So this here is your theta value. Theta, we know it's 108. We can solve for y using supplementary angles. So here, y is equals to 180 minus the uh, 108, which equals 72. So we know, know our y value. This is 72. So if we knew this last angle, we'd be able to solve for z, because three angles must add up to 180. We know w is 36, and we know that this here must be uh, 72. You can see that this is a perfectly uh, flat pentagon, and there's a perfectly flat triangle. We know that this is 72. This must be 72 as well. So this finally mystery angle, the mystery angle, mystery plus 72 plus 36 must equals 180, because three angles form a nice straight line. So mystery is equals to 180 minus 36 minus 72 is equals to 72. So finally, Z is equals to the triangle 180 minus 72 minus 72, which is equals to 36. 36 degrees. Great job.